Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how we can fix Genshin Impact error code 4201 on a PC. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, the first thing what I suggest you to do here is you need to go to settings and you need to make sure that your operating system is up to date. So you need to go to Windows Update, uh, check for updates. And if there is an update for you that you need to download and install it, please do so. Right. And another thing that you need to do here is open up CMD or command prompt, uh, right click on it and make sure to run as administrator. Then on this window, you need to write IP config slash slash DNS. And another command that you need to put is slash winsock reset, right? After that, you can close it. Then you need to go to settings again. And here you need to go to a network and internet, advanced network settings, a network reset and reset your internet. Uh, if you're using Ethernet cable, you don't need to do here nothing. But if you're using Wi-Fi, you need to put your password again. And also, you can restart your router as well. And then the next step, what you need to do here uh, is to change your DNS addresses. And to do so, uh, you need to go to network and internet. Uh, then you need to go to advanced network settings, select your internet connection, then more adapter options. And then you need to look for a uh, internet protocol version four, make sure that is uh, enabled. And then you need to change uh, following the DNS server addresses. Uh, I'm using this 8.8.8.8 uh, and alternative 8.8.4.4 uh, because it's the lowest ping for me, but you can test it out. Uh, there is a bunch of DNS server addresses on Google. You can test it out, test them out all. And then you need to look if uh, with, a, with a basically the best solution right and if this doesn't work for you then another thing that you need to do here is to simply you need to go to a, a firewall and network protection and then you need to uh, you should find the main network and you just need to toggle uh, uh, it off uh, same with private network you just need to go to private network and turn off and then with public network uh, as well, you need to turn that off. And after you apply these changes, just restart your computer. And then you need to look if the problem persists or not. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.